How's it going guys? In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Q-Fig Elite Predator Jungle Hunter mini statue depicting the original Predator from the 1987 classic and um, released in 2021 and I picked this guy up from the folks over at Elm Street Toys. Uh, if you haven't checked them out I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and uh, this is also my first uh, Q-Fig uh, statue or mini statue uh the figure itself or the statue itself is like 12 inches or 12.1 inches in length so uh but we'll get into that once we get the figure opened up so let's go ahead and get a quick look around the box we'll open it up and uh, get a better look at the statue so on the front have a photo shot of uh the figure or the statue rather it's got a 104 down here i'm not exactly sure what that means maybe it's like the 104th in the series maybe uh, on the top, Predator logo, Q-Fig, Max Elite. On the next side, another photo shot of the uh, statue. And uh, I have to say, really, really cool. Can't wait to get this opened up. On the back, we got a front shot of uh, the statue, Predator logo. And then, uh, yeah, it's just a continuation of this uh, image here. So, pretty cool, guys. Can't wait to get this opened up and uh, look at it. Uh, the other cool thing is... It has a nice, opens up, you see that, and then has some more photo shots of the statue, really, really cool. And it uh, has a little saying, boxes are meant to be opened. So, with that guys, let's go ahead and uh, get them opened up and uh, get a better look at this uh, statue. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Uh, for starters, I have to say... I'm really, really enjoying this uh, mini statue. I'm super glad I picked it up. And uh, I did pick it up at a great price. Uh, Elm Street Toys was having a great, great sale on it. Uh, so definitely when I saw it for sale, I had to pick it up because look at this thing. It's absolutely incredible. So again, um, it's a mini statue, so there's not much to it. But I mean, the detail on this thing is absolutely nuts. Uh, I mean, I didn't even realize there's like Arnie's head right there in the mud. So that looks absolutely incredible, guys. Uh, yeah, I've got some skulls all the way around here. Uh, rope kind of hanging here. Bit of a soft plastic, so I'd be if you do pick this up, be very careful with that. But, I mean, the skulls look really, really great on this. Even the, the wood grain here on the tree. I mean, the, the wood grain on these spikes on the back from the traps that uh, Schwarzenegger put out. I mean, just overall, man, I, even up here on the top with the Predator just perched, this Predator looks absolutely incredible. Uh, it look, I mean, it's a bit more cartoony, but I mean, dang, they did a great, great job of capturing the, the Yahucha's <laughs> face. Um, the dreads, the color there looks great. Uh, even the little skulls, uh, his like uh, necklace and stuff like that. Just overall, man, I, I can't praise these guys enough for this being my first uh pickup from them i'm really really impressed uh even back here man his uh med pack or um yeah i guess that's his med pack i would be careful with this little tubing here is a little bit of a soft plastic i could feel it it'd be a little bit fragile uh unfortunately there is no articulation it's just a straight up statue but i mean if you look at the detail there on the on everything just every little bit of this figure looks absolutely great coloring there the uh, little uh, gauntlet there with the uh, I guess self-destruct the uh, plasma caster up here really really dig that looks like it has a little bit of a red yeah it's got like a little bit of a red wash or coloring there like it, it had just been fired so it's like I guess like an afterburn but yeah just look at the, the face on this predator looks absolutely great in my opinion uh, again, it's a bit more cartoony, but still, man, I think uh, I think they did a great job with this with this uh, statue, man. I really, really dig it. Uh, really digging the um, to see overall the detail. Uh, I've got the gauntlet blades up here. Those look pretty cool. They don't retract or anything. I would be careful with these two, as you can see, they're a bit of a soft plastic. So be very careful with those if you do pick this up. Uh, the mandibles, pretty good. Uh, I would be very careful with this up here too. As you can see, it's a little bit, it's like a little bit wiggly or flimsy. So that could, I could potentially see that breaking. But overall guys, I have to say I'm really, really impressed 
with the statue. Uh, on the bottom, we have, again, the 104. I'm assuming that's the number, it, these are numbered, so this is a 104th, I'm assuming, figure out of the series. I don't know much about these uh, Q-Fig Elite figures, but I definitely, definitely need to check this out. Um, check out some other ones and see uh, if they have any other cool stuff. But this being my first one, I'm really, really impressed. It's got the Predator logo. The stand, the base, is uh, it's got a nice weight to it. Now for this comparison, guys, I don't normally collect too many statues. I do have one other one uh, of um, from Diamond Select. It is the Dracula from the Castlevania animated series that's on Netflix. Uh, just to kind of give you a size comparison, and give you some, uh, you know, a little bit of a difference between the two manufacturers. Uh, I really, really love this Dracula one. This guy, though, I have to say, it's really, really cool. I really, really dig it. That about wraps it up for this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the statue here. I told many of you I'm a huge Predator fan, uh, especially the original with Arnold Schwarzenegger, as well as Predator 2. And again, it's one of my favorites, and I love Prey. But uh, beyond that, let me know which is your favorite Predator film in the franchise, and uh, have you picked this up? If you have picked this up or are you planning to pick this up, let me know in the comments below too. Beyond that, if you're new to the channel, feel free to like, share, subscribe. If you're not new to the channel, thanks again guys for coming back and for the continued support. I really, really appreciate it. Until then guys, we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy and have a good one.